Hey guys, Gabe from Stone for Urban Angel here, and it is coming up to 10 to, uh, sorry, 5 to 10 in the morning, and I have decided this just seems like a perfectly decent time to record. So, um, yeah, here we are doing 7 days to die. This is a preview of things to come uh, when I'm on the multiplayers with Twitch Industry Inc. and uh, my friend Mike from America. Um, so let's crack into it. I've already sort of, um, I've already made a base. This is like my single player world. Um, so... I am in the Deadlands at the moment. Some a plane went overhead and found some su and dropped three supply crates. Uh, so um, oh, I can hear a zombie already. This game is probably the most intense game I've ever played. Up there, you can probably see something flying around. That's a mutated hornet, which will attack you. There are other things apart from zombies that you got to worry about in the game. It's uh, there are different kinds of zombies which I've learned recently. Uh, there are the giant hornets, and there are zombie dogs as well, which, honestly, the dogs are probably the worst one for me, because I always end up dying when it comes to, when I, I'm confronted by dogs. So, I've got my trusty crossbow in search of this, uh, supply box of loot. Uh, I'm gonna update my defences as well, and, uh, because wood isn't exactly the best, uh, thing to use as a wall, as I've, uh, found out for hard way. There's a zombie over there. I think I missed that one. And that one. And that one. There we go, got him eventually. Keep in mind it is early in the morning, so my shots are going to be pretty much like that. I can also hear another one. Ah, let's go into the Deadlands. Um, this place, as you can probably tell by the fucked up buildings, has been nuked. Um, but it seems like a good. This is a, actually the best place you can find iron, which is what I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to be going into the big city, which is over in this di general direction. Because, um, you know, lots of iron, iron and supplies are down, would be down there. I think I see a supply drop over there. Can we just take this guy out? Thank you. Um, so yeah, the thing I think that makes this game m really intense and what sets it apart is the sound, actually, because whereas, uh, for example, well, it's that. Uh, there's no music, you notice, and then something like Left 4 Dead, where if you hear a horde come in, it'll play like a little tune to let you know there's a horde coming. This doesn't do that. This has like fins to free off. You can hear, can hear that? Whispering in the background. Just to sort of make you uneasy. This deliberately makes you tense and uneasy this game. And, oh, there's a crawl up. And I think that's what I really like about the game. The fact that it deliberately does that to you. There he is, I missed him. Did I hit him back on? Nope. Come on. Over here. There we go. Okay, so the flag drops. We should be in this general area. Which is brilliant, because it's dropped in a perfect fucking place surrounded by zombies, you know. Footsteps around me. Over the way over there, man. So they could be miles away from you, and because of the sound effects, you think they're really close. Is that a hit? No, it's a miss. Yeah, so you can get uh, zombies that throw up on you, and uh, charge at you when they throw up, throw up on you. Uh, zombie dogs, big fat zombies, um, which have a bit more health than the regular zombies. And, yeah, like I said, giant hornets. Which actually are really useful because they drop honey, which replenishes both your. Ah! Over there! Wrong smoke. 
And I think I see another supply drop right in front of me as well. So there you go. Perfect. So after I collect uh, all of this, I can show you my base. Oh wow, I see two of them actually. Brilliant. Okay, so we got bottled water, brilliant, land clean blocks, also brilliant, and chicken rations. So, there was some orange smoke in the sky. I'm guessing there's another one. There it is. Just dropped behind that one. <sighs> Brilliant. Okay. I thought I was going to spend forever looking for this. Uh, what have we got here? Ammunition. I already got that one. I'll take that. Oh, that's a different one. What's that? Lamb. Okay. Pump shotgun stuff. Uh, fuck it. I'll take that anyway. I got guns. Uh, a few guns. Not bothered about the rest. Uh, and. Oh, my help. Ooh, actually, I need to eat. Also, this adds a hell of a lot more elements than normal zombie uh. games. Uh, as you can see, I'm uh, dehydrated to death. You can uh, starve to death. So you gotta keep on top of that. You have to craft stuff. So it's got like a sort of. Well, I don't wanna compare it to Minecraft, but it has that sort of element. Um. So your red bar is obviously your health. Oh, speaking of health, we've got a bunch of red health stuff there. Brilliant. Okay, I can go back and show you the base now. So your red's your health, uh, the dark blue is your uh, stamina, green is your food, and uh, the lighter blue is your, uh, your first level. So home is this way. I got it on the map. I hope I don't have to experience a horde today. Although that would be entertaining for video purposes, I really don't want to deal with a horde. Uh, oh, I still got a pickaxe. Yeah, you can go mining in this game to get some iron and stuff. But uh, I'm going to save the pickaxe, or what, at least what's left of it, because it's probably got one or two more hits left in it, for um, when we go into the big city. Actually, we could make, if I got enough iron, I might be able to make another pickaxe. Uh, let me m mine up this rock, see if we can get some. Okay. So... This way. It's home. Oh yeah, I forgot to cross the water in order to get, get to the supplies. Um, another nice uh, fact that this game adds is uh, physics. Which most games are actually do that. But, um, you know, these kind of games are do that anyway. So you could be building something, and as if it doesn't have a support, the whole thing just comes down. Which is why you need to take care of your base, actually. Which is kind of what I need to do as well. Uh, this is clay here, but I think I've got. Pl I actually have plenty of clay, so I don't really need that right now. Uh, I'm going away on it. Uh, city's uh, over there where I marked it in red of a compass fin, which is above my taskbar. Ah, here we are. This is my uh, home. As you can see, I got a few uh, traps and torches and uh, ar stuff around it, just to keep it a bit more secure. But it turns out it's not really secure enough because uh, I had a horde recently which tore down half a wall uh, on this side. So I've got some barbed wire fences which I'm going to be put in, I think I'll make a wall there actually around the spike traps which I've got in this little ditch here. Yeah, I'll do that now. Because you know, our safety first. Which actually is really true in this game. <laughs> um, let's put that there as well. So... Yep, that's what I want to do. The thing is, if you hear footsteps around my base, you know there's a horde because, like, nothing really spawns in this area anymore. So if you hear footsteps uh, or groaning, you know shit's about to go down. Okay, I don't think I've got enough barbed wire. Is to um, I could make some more saying that. I think I got extra barbed wire. Uh, come 
basically whatever slows him down from getting to my base. Until I fix up uh, the wood. There is a way I think you could improve wood. I think uh, it might have changed in the update. So you could use a repair tool to sort of fortify it a bit more. You know, upgrade that. Spoiled for stuff then. So it's 8 o'clock, uh, I can't have to put it to 9 in the morning in game. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that either. There you go. Hopefully, you could just pick it up. Um, in here. So I've got plenty of time to do this and then explore the city. And trust me, when I'm in the city, you guys know why this game puts me on edge. <laughs> There's not a more dangerous place in the game than going into the city. Because I experienced my first uh, uh, puka zombie up there. And I didn't know what the fuck was going on, so... And while I was trying to shoot him, I, a fucking dog came up behind me and... Uh, killed me, so... Yeah, you need to be very much aware of your surroundings uh, in this game. If you, unless you know you're secure, like I, I know I'm secure now, then you need to like really be aware of everything around you. So, I need to make more barbed wire fences by the looks of it. But this is actually good because uh, if they go in the spike pit, I can't. I, I sit on the roof. I do uh, at night time. I sort of pick them off. But if they go past where I'm setting up now, because I can't really hit them from behind the wall. This is probably why they broke through last time, actually. But they broke uh, the wall pretty damn easily. So I need to sort that out. But I am really looking forward to uh, playing this with more people. Uh, namely Twitch Drink and our friend Mike. Because this is this really is a brilliant game if I can play. I mean I'm loving every second of this. It's a love hate game because it frustrates you like crazy, but at the same time it is fucking brilliant because of it. Right. I left the front door open, oh. I'm seriously doubting the zombies walked in because, uh, you know, I had the spikes traps and stuff there. Oh shit! I know that noise. Like I said, nothing spawns here, so... There's a possibility a fucking horde has just walked up. They normally spawn over here. Where is it? Yeah, but I, f I hope it. I hope it is one zombie. He's not in my fucking home, is he? As I said, no, there's no way he could be in the home. I think he's in my fucking house. Where's the witch? Oh no! It's a fat one. Just for one by the looks of it. Just like it's gonna take a uh, few hits to get down. Not too good at headshots, but there we go. Looks like it was just for one zombie, so. Oh, I guess they do spawn in the area then. I have got the spawn uh, rate to low anyway, but when I when I get into the city, that'll change. Why can't I search this guy? Uh, oh. Come on. Oh, that's why. Uh, he had a old sham sandwich. No thanks. Add some pills. I'm pretty sure I've already picked up pills somewhere. No, oh, okay. Yeah, I have got some spare barbed wire so I could finish the fence off. Uh, 
Chris Sora just here to say what's that fucking game. This game makes you really fucking paranoid. It's because of the like uh, background noises as well. I remember the first time I sort of came across a, uh, quite a big group of zombies. I'm not sure if it was an actually a horde because they were all sort of like scattered. Whereas the last horde was definitely a horde because it was um, you know, all grouped together. Uh, let me just. Oh, I'm going back out there anyways. Fuck it. Uh, so yeah, I literally walked outside the house because I thought he had footsteps. I thought, it, oh, it's a deer outside. They could probably kill it and get some food. Uh, nope. <laughs> There's like about uh, 10 or so zombies outside my house, so I was just like, oh god. So, let me show you the crafting stuff real quick. Uh, since I'm going to be crafting the some mobile dry fences. So, I hit I to enter my inventory and you got all this. Now, you could uh, click on the tabs here to search what you look for, or you could just like save yourself a lot of time and just type. Like I am now. Uh, actually, I need to make fucking sticks first, don't I? Um, which I can do, so I need to make boards and then sticks. Oh, my spelling. Oh, fuck, I hit the weird fucking button then. Um, not even sure if I'm still recording now. Uh, I hope I am. So, um... Oh, there's planks, that's what it is. There it is. Okay, so... Get the wood, put it in there. And it'll give you a shit to the flags. See. I could close that and just like carry on. It carries on crafting, which is pretty cool. Let's go up to quarter past. Oh, 20 past nine. We still have plenty of time to go into the city. Uh, so I have here a, um, a forge and I have two fires. I hardly use one though, no, still. Uh, I got a swimming pool, which is great if I got uh, the empty glass bottles, which I have here. Because I can just uh, refill it water from there. But the thing is, you need to uh, you get this bottled murky water, uh, which actually g literally gives you the shit in the game, which is pretty funny. Uh, so you need to cook that in the fire to make a sort of clean water. Uh, what here? What I got here is golden rod tea, which uh, if you get some uh, of the yellow flowers that are around uh, on the outside. And cook that with bottled water, you get this, which is uh, better than normal water because normal water gives you 20 stamina and 20 uh, hydration. This one gives you 40 of each, so which I need that right now. See, see what I'm trying to do. And um, need to eat some food as well. I got a little mine down here, but honestly, I'm not finding any iron. Um, I could can quickly show you that. Right. Let me grab the. Uh, these. Fuck it out, how much have I got? Uh, I think I've overdone it a bit. Sticks. Uh, let's get rid of all these. There we go. So that will give me three sticks. Well, that's crafted, I'll show you the mine. Uh, yeah. As you can see, I. Oh, actually, I need some more fucking light down here. I don't know how to actually turn. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, this is my mind. No fucking iron, just stone. <laughs> Which is really disappointing. I think I've gone through like two or three pickaxes, think of this. Uh, there we go. What the fuck do I make it again? Oh, yeah, the bomb wire fence. Uh, oh, stop. There you go. Okay, and. Bob Dwight heads. So if I do that, that, and Bob Dwight, that'll give me defenses. And I can just, like, uh, fuck off. Let's say it now. Yeah, I, I was lucky to find this house. It's a shit house that's uh, sort of been merged with a really nice house. 
And, uh, oh, actually, I can show you upstairs real quick, because that's my sort of, like, um, safety room, uh, and access to the roof as well. So, it had an upstairs that you couldn't really get to, so I made this re really shitty park to the upstairs. Um, and as you can see, I did this as well. So, I have a forge up here as well, in case I want to do something in the night. A lot of chests, as well as a gun safe, which I'm not sure if it will restock uh, I hope so uh, it should do in the next day or two and over here I got the access to a roof where I could just like sort of snipe out uh, zombies during the night so yeah it's a pretty cool little setup um, oh, I can't actually see the bonfire fences uh, if I go higher will I be able to see them yeah I can there you go so I'll be able to pick off zombies now. Hopefully with a little more ease. So yeah, uh, this is my house. Um, thank you MTV Cribs for uh, paying a visit. No? I thought that was funny. Not really. Somebody if you laugh so, please? No? Okay. Uh, so I spawn up here when I die. Um, which is ideal and yeah let me go back outside and I can that's fine shortcut I don't think I break anything when I fall so because breaking bones can be a thing in this game as well uh. I do that a lot um where did I finish off is it on this side oh shit is that a bunny oh no it's a torch Hunted is pretty fun in this game as well. I think I'm coming down with the cold. If, uh, so if I sound a bit sort of stuffy then... Sorry. I'm hearing noises again. I don't like hearing noises. It's factory for my work. Okay. So they do, let's lay down. Let's lay down some more fences. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not caught at that actually, Jesus. The grass of the plants in this game uh, can annoy you when you're trying to place blocks. I also need to find a better system uh, to get in and out of the house, because right now I'm just blocking off the front door with wood. Okay, that's fine, I can leave a front because as well you just see the ground then you know I'm saying that hardly anything spawned because I think I've got like a few more zombies spawning around my area oh well. we will eventually get to the city just bear with me a second while I make these fortifications I could actually do a jump cut No, I'm, I'm actually nearly finished, so I won't bother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Wait, was that me or was that a zombie? Because all the itch footsteps in. I think this game is even worse if you're wearing headphones because like the sound sort of like how do I describe it it goes from one ear to the other if you know what I mean so if it's over to your left you know if it's over to your left so you like sort of spin around trying to find out where it is and stuff I don't know is that in all games or am I just talking shit I don't know okay nearly done upgrade my wall in peace but I'll save that for another time I'm not sure if I'll even record that actually let me know in the comments if you want, want to see me do uh, some more solo stuff in uh, 
episode yesterday. But there's definitely going to be a series with me making uh, Twitch, so just keep an eye out for that. Ah, they got run out. Uh, oh, fuck. Close enough. Right, let's go into the... Have I got room? I haven't got room. Let me empty stuff out and then we can go to the city. Oh, what a kerfuffle. Okay, uh, where are my chests? I think I have some in the back, I can just use those. I got shit stored fucking everywhere. Well, that's going in there. I picked up a fucking potted plant, which I didn't mean to do. But... That... Uh, I'll keep the sticks and stuff, just in case uh, I need to make arrows. Actually, how am I doing arrows? Wait, oh, i got plenty. Da -da -da. Oh, actually, I'll take these with me and... Uh, store that, because they don't have any smell on them. Um, Java Honey, I'll take that as well because it's good for hydration. Uh, I'll keep a bottle of water as well. I'll pop a murky one in there so I don't drink that. That's really good for everything venison stew, but I'll put that in there as well. Uh, I need one stack of bandages. I don't think I'm going to run into that much trouble. I say that now. <laughs> I mean, when I get to the city, all hell will break loose. Painkillers, I don't really need. Don't need that. Land blocks, fucking useless. Unless you're a multiplayer. Antibiotics, don't really need. Actually, uh, uh, just in case, I'll take five. Uh, flashlights, don't really need. There you go. Okay, uh, fuck it, let's go. I always do that. Ah, it's annoying. Right. Crossbow loaded. I have enough of that smell, so that's brilliant. So the zombies will be less attracted to me. <coughs> but have they have you seen me lately? I mean my god. Have I got spike traps? I got enough of the fucking cover this up. Oh fuck it. Fucking fuck it. Fuck it. Spend enough time fucking around, but let's go to the city. Yeah! I'm agreeing with the audience. Stop dicking around. Sorry, I know I said no dicking around, but I have to put some food rations in my hot bar and some water. You know, because it's good to have stuff in your, in your hot bar ready. Uh, and the knife. So now we can go. Although I'm not really looking forward to this. There's a deer, I'll hunt him another time. If uh, you guys want to see another, you know, single episode. I'm going solo. <sighs> I can only mean bad news for everyone. <laughs> Actually, I could drink something as well. Uh, another interesting little feature. Um, is that it's pretty obvious though. The game does get harder with each day. Hence, seven days today. Nothing happens on day seven. Apparently, uh, well, me, uh, Mike, and Twitch thought that um, the horde actually spawns in on day seven. I learned the hard way that's not the case. <laughs> so here it is, the city. Uh, there are all kinds of nasty shit in this city I think that was a puke over there there's something really close I see one over there I've learnt as well that, well, I don't know if it's true or not, but I find that going over roads is probably the safest option. 
Mainly because you have like a bit of open space around you. That was a weird clicking noise. That's new. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention some spider zombies as well. They're not actually spiders, they're just zombies that crawl around uh, when you're allowed to run. Which are not in this game, but they can still climb fucking buildings and walls and stuff. Which is why I got spikes on top of my walls. I'm picking ahead. The there we are. I think that is a fucking puker as well. Sensed, no surprise there. Now hunted. He's not going down, is he? Oh shit, he just runs right after you anyway. Oof. So yeah, that was a puka. Before you had to throw up on you to chase after you. Um turns out nope. Nope, just fucking runs right at you anyway. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh god, I hate going into the city. Sorry if this is going to be a long episode, but um, this is where the action really starts. Okay, uh. There's a zombie right fucking on top of me. It's probably cooler. Yeah, hello, I see you there. Can you come say hi? Oh, you dodged! Clever girl. Oh my god, he's dying. You know what? No, I'm gonna knife you. I am gonna knife you. Fucking decay to you, Luda. That's actually what we call it. I don't think I ever crouch anymore. I'm just doing this for the effect. Fuck that noise. Um. <coughs> oh, fuck a duck. Oh shit. Where the fuck did he come from? He literally just spawned right there. Fucking hell. There's fucking two of them, I think. Yeah. Boy, be hunting. You're fat, you're not supposed to run. I don't think it actually slow, that's I'm being more cautious than usual because I discovered these guys. Oh, I can actually search these guys. Normally they oh that's lovely. Wow, shit. Sword of shotgun, hell yeah. And bullets. Which I could just put there. There you go. Ugh, ugly motherfucker. There's a zombie on the roof. Where are you going? Lol. Oh, the lag. There you go. I get, I get that sometimes. So, will I make it out of this city alive? That's the question. I haven't really had a chance to loot anything. Now, I wanted to loot this building. But as soon as I entered it, I heard dogs. Oh. Hornet. Yep. There's dogs. Fuck the dogs. 
I really don't like the fucking dogs. <laughs> I did actually have a puker up there who snaked in me at one point. That was actually quite fun. He could actually get me, he was just throwing up on me. So I picked him off pretty easily. Hearing noises. Oh fuck. That noise drives me fucking nuts. If you can't see where they are, they will drive you fucking insane. Ah, oh, there they are. Big giant hornet. <laughs> Oi. Don't you a bitch. There's another one, isn't it? Number one, I can't actually see. Oh, but I see that guy over there. Fuck, that was a good shot. I think that's just a fat one. I don't think that's like a puka. Yeah, just a fat one. Sorry, I was just rubbing my eye if you if I hit my, hit my mic as well. Buddy. Grab some honey off you if you've got any. Ah, now that's iron, but I don't have anything to mine it up with. Could use a fire axe, but that will take a while. Another zombie on the roof, I can't resist. Oh. Oh, fuck it, where did he come from? Oh, fuck. It's a hive. I don't, I don't think that's actually fair. That would be f pretty fucking cool. It'd be fucking terrible, but at the same time, fucking cool. If they did like a swarm of these fins. There you go. Got more honey. Let's go in this building. Or plastic, don't matter. She'll have it. Paper's pretty useless. Well, it, it has use, but I've yet to find out what that use is because I can't put it in fire. So I don't know what you use it for. Ah, bookcase, pistol box, or what do you learn? You can learn recipes if you find books as well, which is pretty cool. A rotten sports bag. Lovely, what's in here? Fuck, yeah, I'll take that. Why not? It's a bird's nest up here. Got some feathers and eggs. Apparently, egg, uh, bacon and eggs is the best food in uh, a zombie apocalypse. Like, it's the best food in this game. I haven't had that yet, but. Something I'm looking forward to having, I guess. I got pork, but I don't know if you can make bacon. Do that. I don't know. I'll, fi I'll figure it out. 
Okay, this is a bad building to sort of search because I'll say that everything's been fucking bombed to shit anyway, but this one in particular was a, a bad one. Is it on the roof? What was that? Down below. Oh, it's down below. A nude walker. Puke up. Now I'm hunted. Bring it, bitch. Everywhere. I see you up there. You're in a fucking hurry, aren't you? <laughs> Not anymore. Okay. Quickly search for sedan. Cars have really good stuff in them, usually. This one, on the other hand, doesn't. Uh, what is that? Car aircraft. There. You can make bombs out of these things, but I'm not really fussed about that. If shit gets real, maybe I'll make some bombs and put them on my house. Okay, I think I've I'm exiting the city now. Did I just hear panting? I do not want to be dealing with a fucking dog. Oh, it's a few of them there. Okay, this doesn't be the bad run. I mean, I haven't really found anything useful apart from that sort of shotgun. But at the same time, I haven't died. Okay, I think, uh... Now, I want, really want to search this car garage, actually. I've been meaning to come and search for that. Ugh, God. Not even I would. And that's saying something. It's a fucking dog! Oh my god, it's a one hit kill. I really don't like the dogs in this game. They piss me off. Hey buddy. You want any honey for me? Want to say hi? Not in the mood. Just not in the mood. Let's fuck with this guy. Meth. Not even once. This is just fucking dog. You gotta see what it looks like now. There he is. It's another dead dog, obviously. Because, you know, zombie apocalypse. I can't search him. That's why. Uh, rotten flesh. I don't want any of this. Okay, uh, where's that beagle? There he is. And then we can search for his uh, parking loft. Or garage. I don't even know what slang I'm using. I don't know if I'm originally using American or if I'm originally using British slang. So I'm I think I have another dog. No, with my luck, this place is going to be full of dogs. I'd be happy. anything in here so far. I'm gonna keep crouched just in case. Anything good in here? I'll take that. That's a stone axe is really good. Screeching going on in the background. This is like end up being an hour long video at this rate. In which case, I apologize. But if you're being entertained at the same time, I don't apologize. So screw you. Oh god, is that 
a dog or is that just a really pissed off zombie? Okay, there's uh, something over here. Could be something valuable since the thing's blocked off. It's a nice fucking death. Blueprints? Iron glove schematic. Fuck yeah, we're having that. I got some of those really pissed off out there. this urban combat book I forgot to take it I don't think I've learned that one yet I think I may have overstayed my welcome I think there's another one over there though god hurry up hurry up hurry up Search, there it is. Oh fuck, I'll take the bullets, but that was a pretty really shit one. Still undetected. Rubbish bags, always good for feathers. There's a few in that. Right. I'm thinking leave and wrap it up. If I enter the safety of my home, then I could call this a successful raid. Here in Panton. Which can only mean one fucking thing. Shit in hell, how many fucking hornets are there? Well, this is coming over the house. Fight that one a bit prematurely. Shut up. I think that one's out of range. There's one over there. Jeez, there's it. Oh, I may have already searched that one. I know where I am now. Okay. Park it off. There's a lot of iron over there. Just like in the floor. Okay. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's a supply drop. There it is. You do this every time. Also, I'm pretty damn sure those hornets are right behind me. Hello. How are you doing, buddy? and get the honey. Oh, is that another one? Oh god. Over there. Fuck it, that one's on the way back. I'll go for that one. Fucking hole in the ass. That was a zombie one, so it's screeching like a bitch. Yep, that's a zombie one. Uh, a, a zombie one? My god, a spider one. Okay, supply drop. Home. End episode. Beg for likes, comments, subscribes. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <sighs> he hasn't seen me. Fuck it. Here, dog. Fuck off, Fido. Right, let's go. Oh God. See, see, you can see what I mean when I say the noises can drive me nuts. Fuck, I'm being hunted. I'm undetected. 
Leave me alone, zombie. It was figment of imagination. Oh god. Please leave me alone. I want to go home now. <sighs> oh, there's a few of them. Where does the play drop go? You know, fuck it, I'm being hunted anyway. <coughs> oh shit, I'm starving to death. There we go. Supply drop, hello. Don't see anything up in the sky. I'm pretty sure it was a recent update to, or something because we were just stay in the sky so you could see them and basically not drop until like you're right underneath them. I miss that. <laughs> okay. So it's still over here somewhere. Although I probably wouldn't be able to see it if it's like see, see it drop if it was over here. From all the way over there. So there's a pretty solid chance I think I've walked past it. So fuck it, let's just go home and I'll round, up, round off this uh, very long episode. <laughs> Unless of course the horde is attacking my house, in which case I have to deal with that first. But what are the chances of that happening? Apparently not very high. Thank god. So yeah, thank you for uh, watching this preview of um, 7 Days to Die. Uh, I've been Red Rain Angel Gamer, so don't forget to leave me a like, comment, subscribe. And keep an eye out for the series that um, it's probably going to be a lot more chaotic and disastrous than this. Because I've had time to sort of set all this up. Uh, but uh, I'm starting from scratch when, it, when the new series comes out. So uh, stay tuned for that and I hope you have a great day. And uh, yeah, check out the rest of my videos and stuff. Bye guys.